Pep, can I speak to you for a second? Hola, Cristiano, come in. Do you remember the contract you gave me last season before I signed for United? Is there still a way that I can maybe sign it or something, join the club, you know? Listen to me, you little <laughs> Last year I gave you a chance and you hung me out to dry. You left me here. You know what? This, this, there's no chance. Messi is much better than you. Go play with Harry Maguire. Go play in the Europa League. <laughs> Your shit anyways, Cristiano. You will never join Manchester City. Never! You still don't win the Champions League with Manchester City. Get out. Yo guys, my name is Nuri Rodatka and welcome to HITC Football, or in Italian, HITC Calcio. I don't know why I said that, but who cares? Let's get right into the video. Today we're looking at every single Premier League club. We pick one player and we see where you would potentially do better or the same. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in the Premier League. It can also be in Spain, in Italy, in France, in the Netherlands, in Germany, wherever you can think of. So let's get right into the video. Let's go. Let's start off with Arsenal. And with Arsenal, it's an interesting one because we're not picking a first team player. We're picking a second goalkeeper because Bernd Leno is not getting a look in at Arsenal right now. And it would be better for both parties if he would just leave the club, get some cash in, although it's probably not going to be much now. There's no chance that Aaron Ramsdale will become second goalkeeper or leave whatever so Bernd Leno has to get the hell out of the club because there's literally no future for him right now I thought that a perfect place for him to go to would be Ajax and believe me I'm not only going to send all these players to Ajax because I'm an Ajax fan that's not gonna happen this is just one out of maybe two but anyways who cares Ajax has a huge problem in goal because Andre Onana's contract expires this summer he will probably go to Inter Milan it hasn't been confirmed yet but the rumors are pretty strong and Ajax still has two goalkeepers left who are both close to 40 it's Martin Stekelenburg and Remco Pasfer who are 39 and 38 respectively so definitely another goalkeeper has to come in and it has to be a good one so this would definitely work for Ajax and I think actually it would work for all parties involved because Arsenal can get some cash in and offload a player that's not even playing Bert Leno will probably get a lot of minutes when he goes to Ajax and for Ajax it's a pretty decent keeper I think at least so I think that this transfer would definitely work so Bert Leno if you're smart go to Ajax moving on to Aston Villa and we're picking a player that's currently at Aston Villa but doesn't necessarily has a contract at the club for next season. Of course, I'm talking about Philippe Coutinho and I don't think that Aston Villa is going to make the loan permanent for around 40 million, I think, 33 million pounds, if I remember correctly. I don't think it's gonna happen. Coutinho was absolutely amazing when he just came to Aston Villa. I think he had like seven goal involvements in eight games, something like that. But since then, he hasn't really added to that tally. He's still on four goals and three assists and the last couple of weeks, he hasn't been playing out of his skin. So I don't think that this is going to be worth it for Aston Villa to make it permanent. But I do think that Napoli would be a great place for him. Especially since Insigne is going to Toronto. And he has been playing there for years. He played in a role a little bit on the left side. Sometimes an attacking midfielder. Sometimes a little bit of a false nine. And I think that left hand side of Napoli would be perfect for him. Because he needs to be in a team that plays attacking football. And Napoli does just that. And pff, there's no chance that he's going back to Barcelona. So definitely, definitely he's going to leave this summer. But where to? to Napoli. He can go to a competition where everything goes a little bit slower than in the Premier League. I think that would be perfect for him. Maybe he can regain some confidence and have a pretty nice career there at Napoli. So in my opinion, Napoli, seal this deal immediately. Get Coutinho to the club. Next up, we're going to look at Brentford and I'm not going to do the easy one, Christian Eriksen to Spurs because what's the point i'm thinking of something else i think that rico henry would be a very nice addition for west ham west ham doesn't necessarily have the best defense they already conceded 46 goals this season which is not great it's around mid table but if they want to improve next season they definitely have to do something about the defense if somebody wants to get a good left back this is the one to go for it will definitely improve their defense and maybe next season they can even aim for europa league never know moving on to brighton and it's also going to be a left back this one is a little bit more versatile than rico henry but anyways doesn't matter Mark Kukurea, I think that he would be perfect for Juventus because Alexandro hasn't really been informed these last couple of weeks. Probably already this entire season he hasn't been great. Juventus don't have a lot of left backs and it's a pretty crucial spot in the team. So they definitely need to improve. This season at Brighton he's been insane. He's been the player of the season I think. So in my opinion Marco Rea could definitely improve the Juventus side. Moving on to Burnley and for Burnley these are some scary times. They can still get relegated but also they can retain their Premier League status for next season. And that would be very important for them. But anyways if they go down, if they stay up. 
It doesn't matter for this take because I think that Wout Weghorst could do a job at Schalke 04. They made it back to the Bundesliga at the first time of asking, but I definitely think that if they want to stay up next season, they need a good striker because their first striker became the top scorer of the second Bundesliga. But their second top scorer only scored 10 goals and that's in the second Bundesliga. So this is going to be a step up. They definitely need a good striker. So who would be better than Wout Weghorst? He already showed it in the Bundesliga when he was at Wolfsburg. He scored more than 16 goals every single season when he was there so he's definitely a good goal scorer he's not the most technical player and we all know that but he's a finisher and he can turn out to be very valuable for the team so i think that Wout Weghorst to Schalke could be a very good option moving on to Chelsea the first team out of the top three and who could have thought that one year on I would say that it's probably better for Lukaku to go back to Inter. It hasn't been the best season for the Belgium. He scored seven times in 24 appearances. This has so far definitely not been worth it. And after that interview, you really wonder if he actually wants to be at Chelsea. And in my opinion, I think he'd rather be at Inter. I don't think that Inter can afford this, but it doesn't matter because it's only hypothetically speaking. They didn't really replace him last summer. They got Jacko in, he has been all right. But if they could get Lukaku in, they would definitely be a stronger side. So. Inter, if you find some cash, make this happen. Moving on to Crystal Palace and maybe after years of speculation, this summer it might actually happen. Wilfried Zaha might actually leave the club. The forward is entering his last year of his contract and maybe Crystal Palace want to cash in on him. They could definitely do that. They could probably still get more than 30 million for the guy. And maybe this is the right moment to cash in on him. And for Wilfried Zaha, this is definitely the last opportunity that he can go to a big club. And in big club, I mean Arsenal. Arsenal definitely need to get some forwards in. Eddie Nketiah and Alexander Lacazette are possibly leaving. And Wilfried Zaha could be a perfect replacement. He would play in a team that would play more attacking football, could get him more chances, could get him more goals. And definitely Arsenal is not a bad team to play for. And especially in the state that they are right now, with all these young, talented players, this could be a very good transfer for Arsenal and also for Zaha. This season, Zaha has been the most productive player out of the Crystal Palace side and it's pretty clear that he has a lot of quality. So Arsenal, if you want to get a striker that has already proven it in the Premier League, get Wilfried Zaha. Let's talk about Everton. And for Everton, this has been a horrendous season. That's why I think that Deli Ali should go to Real Madrid. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. It's probably better if he goes back to MK Dons. But all jokes aside, Richarlison is far too good for Everton. And 100%, if they go down, he 100% leaves. And Bayern Munich could be a good destination for him. So Richarlison could be a good addition for the side. He has been great when he was at Watford. He has been great for years at Everton. This year, he's the most productive player out of the entire team with the most goals. I know that nine goals is not a lot, but he plays for Everton. And Everton this season are not creating a lot of chances. They're pretty poor and they might go down. And if they go down, I can tell you that Richarlison 100% leaves. And I think that Bayern Munich would be a good destination for him. Moving on to Leeds United, another team that could potentially still get relegated and 100%, just like with Everton, if they go down, Rafinha leaves. And even if they stay up, I don't think that they can keep hold of him because there are a lot of clubs that want his services. I heard Barcelona, I heard Bayern Munich, but I don't agree with these options. I think that's a little bit above his level. I think that Newcastle would be perfect. From Newcastle's perspective, this would be a perfect signing because he's a player that already proven himself in the Premier League. He scored 10 goals and gave three assists this season. I know it's also not a lot, but just like with Everton, it's a team that's threatened by relegation and they're not creating a lot of chances. They're not scoring a lot of goals, so it's pretty decent, but it's also what he does outside of scoring and assisting that makes him a very special player. Moving on to Leicester City, and I think that Yuri Tielemans should go to Manchester United because Manchester United has a lot of problems in midfield it's just not good enough and we all know that Tielemans is a great player he can play a little bit more attacking role he can play a little bit more conservative role but anyways he is such an amazing talent and he would 100% improve Manchester United's midfield the Belgian midfielder just turned 25 so he's pretty young so that makes that he will probably also cost a lot of money still but for Manchester United, this is their problem area and they definitely need to spend big. For Manchester United, this would definitely be a good move. And for Tielemans itself, this could be a step up for the Belgian midfielder. For Liverpool's player, I'm just immediately going to say it. Mohamed Salah to Barcelona. With Adama Traoré and Ousmane de Bele probably leaving in the summer, they need a right winger. And the profile they're looking for is a player that can dribble, that can score goals, give assists. Does that sound familiar to you? So for Barcelona, this could probably be the best option to replace Messi a year on from his departure. This guy scored 22 times, gave 14 assists. This guy basically guarantees goals and assists for your team. So this would be perfect. Get the guy in. It will probably cost a lot of money. But for Barcelona, if they want to relive their golden days, get a player that gets a lot of goals and assists in, this player is probably the closest 
to what Messi has been for Barcelona. Moving on to Manchester City and Manchester City just signed a new striker. It's all done and dusted. It's confirmed. Erling Haaland is going to Manchester City and that means that the other striker at Manchester City is probably going to play far less and he hasn't even been playing a lot these last couple of years because Pep Guardiola prefers other players. Gabriel Jesus needs to get the hell out of that club and I think that he should go to Dortmund. This one again could be perfect for all parties involved. Gabriel Jesus can become the first striker for the first time in his career at the European Giant because Dortmund definitely is that. They just lost their striker. Manchester City can get a lot of money for this guy, probably close to 50 million. He scored over 100 goals for Manchester City in the limited minutes that he got and imagine what he can do as a first striker. So Dortmund get this guy in immediately. Oh, I'm going to trigger a lot of Manchester United and Manchester City fans but to Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester City would have been better than Cristiano Ronaldo back to Manchester United and hear me out for this one. This is something that will never ever happen in the future but if we roll back the clock one year this is something that almost happened and I could only imagine what would have happened this season if Manchester City had Cristiano Ronaldo. You can definitely see that at 37 years of age Ronaldo is still an amazing striker 18 goals in the league in a struggling side Imagine with the amount of chances that Manchester City creates, how many goals he would score. This could have also helped Manchester City because in the squad this season, they don't have a real out and out striker apart from Gabriel Jesus. And he's probably also not necessarily an out and out striker. And also for Ronaldo, I think he definitely regrets not going to Manchester City. I know that everyone at United would have hated him, but he could have been Premier League champion, could have been in the Champions League semi-finals, maybe even more if he was playing for the team. So what could have been. Moving on to Newcastle United and their right back would be a perfect fit for Manchester United. Kieran Trippier would be a great shout for Manchester United for the right back spot. It already showed this season but going into next season they have a massive problem at right back. All the players they have are not good enough. Aaron wan Bissaka is not it. Diogo Dalot is not the best so they need a great right back. It's a shame that an injury kept him out for a long time of the season. He's only played five games for Newcastle but in those five games he showed that he's a very good right back. And Manchester United would definitely improve if they would have him in the squad. Moving on to Norwich and we're going to talk about Billy Gilmore. For Billy Gilmore this season hasn't been great but he's playing in a side that struggling that is already relegated that was probably the worst side out of the entire Premier League and there are now rumors that Rangers is apparently interested in signing the player and personally I think that this could be a good move for him and Rangers definitely have something to offer for Billy Gilmore they ended second in the Scottish Premier League but they're still in a Europa League final and if they manage to win that they have Champions League football next season now let's talk about Southampton and let's talk about Armando Broja the striker played 31 times scored six goals gave one assist and this season for Southampton he showed that he's a very promising player and he's only 20 years old. And I think that Breuer could do well at Sevilla because Sevilla is still looking for a striker. Club signed Anthony Marshall for Manchester United last January and that signing did not turn out the way they expected. Sevilla's Rafa Mir now as their main striker scored nine times but I think that it could definitely be worth taking the gamble on Armando Breuer because he's a promising young striker. You could ease him into the side, make him second striker and if he does well, make him first striker and possibly in the long run you can earn a lot of money from this guy. For Spurs I think this is pretty straightforward. I think that Steven Bergwijn should go to Ajax. For Bergwijn this would be an opportunity to get more playing time in a team that's going to play Champions League, a team that's playing attacking football, a team that needs a player like him. And for Ajax this will be perfect. They're already trying to sign him for two years now. You can launch him with the speed. He's great at dribbling, he can score goals. This is exactly the player that Ajax needs. This summer I think that Ajax is probably going to sell a lot of players, probably get a lot of cash in. So this could actually become a reality if you ask me. And for Watford I think that Ismail Assar would probably be better at AS Monaco. I think he's going to leave anyways. AS Monaco doesn't have a lot of good forwards. They have Ben Yedder but he's an out and out striker but around him there are not a lot of players that are good enough for the team. And I think that Ismail Assar could definitely do a job there. And in my opinion this probably won't be a very expensive deal because Watford already went down. And that also means that Sar's price also went down quite a lot. Moving on to West Ham. And if this actually happens, this will be a very expensive deal. But I think that Declan Rice would suit Chelsea's playing style very well. This season, Rice improved once more, adding an attacking dimension to an already impressive playing style. And this season, he has been insane for West Ham. He played 93% of the games in the Premier League. And he also played a lot in the Europa League, where they made a deep run all the way to the semi-finals. And I think that if Declan Rice goes to Chelsea, he will take Chelsea up to another level. Last but not least, we're going to look at Wolverhampton and the Wolves. They have an amazing goalkeeper. Jose Sa has been insane. He has one of the best save percentages this season out of all the goalkeepers and Dortmund 
need a goalkeeper. So I think that Josie Sao would do a very good job there. The striker and goalkeeper position are probably one of the most important to address for Dortmund next season because they lost Erling Haaland and they already have a goalkeeper that's not great. So Josie Sao could definitely fix the position of goalkeeper for the team. And his amazing form this season is one of the main reasons why Wolves will comfortably finish in the top half of the table. That's the video done guys. Let me know which one you like the most. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.